Oh, baby. Hi. Welcome back to another Alchemy Stars event. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about the new event that got dropped on Twitter. We'll have a quick look at Taki, but like we don't have too much info here, especially the equipment. And then we'll go through a little bit more of like tidbits of information. And actually, let's start with those tidbits of information. And so congratulations, everybody worldwide for hitting 400,000 global followers. And so we are getting the 600 Lumamba and the exclusive furniture and special icon. This is really nice, but this isn't the celebration tweet. So if you look over here, we're going to get it uh, before this time nothing left to be said there well done guys let's get those freaking free pulls let's go next let's have a quick look at taki so taki is revealed to be a five star fire detonator and so he's got a pretty sweet active skill as well as a cool chain combo the chain combo in particular is going to be pretty weird and the reason he's weird for the chain combo is because like it's using the three row combo pattern and so i don't know like how many units you guys have used but like traditionally i think a lot of the units that actually do column of damage well they do it in columns for example uriel or dana like when you actually get their big chain combo it goes like up the board however taki is just going to be doing the like pretty much the same thing but in the other direction still not 100 percent sure how i feel about this chain combo because like i haven't used nikki enough but i'm sure it's going to be good although like the requirement is actually pretty big 5 9 13 but that sounds pretty standard like that sounds in line actually with Uriel's as well on the other hand the active skill dragon scorch mm music to my ears. Launches searing flames toward the selected tile that erupt in a cross-shaped area and deals 400% damage. It deals 80% damage to enemies on both sides of the selected tile and you get to convert the selected tile into a red enhanced tile. On top of that, applies burn marks to targets before dealing damage. Whoa, it's, this is pretty loaded. First of all, he is a detonator, so he is not going to have this on preemptive. Second of all, it's a little bit of like pseudo conversion. However, it still does some pretty big damage. And third, there is actually a burn mark as well. And hopefully this actually works with like your Leona and your Uriel. And so realistically speaking, that's like the only conclusions that we can kind of draw from this. If he's applying burn, he's going to have synergies with Uriel and Leona. And being able to create a red enhanced tower every so often is a pretty nice bonus too. I would predict that this active is probably on like a four turn cooldown, potentially a three turn cooldown, but I'd rather bet on a four turn cooldown. It just sounds really loaded, especially because you can select this tower anywhere on the map and it's doing like a little cross shape damage and then you convert it and then you also burn him. So yeah, there's quite a fair bit going on. However, However, I cannot like talk about him too much or evaluate him without knowing the other things such as his equipment. And so with that being said, let's move on to the event, which is really, really stacked actually. However, before looking at this, you guys might want to go over to the Twitter so you can check out that video or the PV. So I'm not going to play it because I'm probably going to get DMCA'd for it, but like it's essentially a teaser for the upcoming event. Well, what we're about to talk about some really cool animation, but I'm going to let you guys watch it and let's just jump into the content itself. All right. So as I predicted 29th, wow, I predicted that like two weeks ago i said that hero was gonna drop she was gonna drop on about the 29th and that the event would also be like surrounding her but honestly i shouldn't praise myself too hard because it wasn't that hard to guess right guys all right let's get into it so the first event is essentially kind of like a point collecting thing in a nutshell all you have to do is spend your stamina as you normally do on the main story stages as well as the resource raid stages and in addition to your og items that you would normally get you also will get the cloud blossom petal event items and i suspect it's going to be like a milestone kind of thing so like as you get more petals you're going to get more like of these stories unlocked and then on top of that it looks like we also have a dharma smash system where you use those petals to pretty much draw for more things and then on top of that we have more quests to get even more lumamba limited furniture and aurorian upgrade and ascension materials it sounds pretty stacked however this is kind of like another cookie cutter event nothing innovative but like it is something that i do welcome especially when you get to actually spend your stamina on your stages that you want to do if you guys think back to the even since the event you guys are going to remember that we had to actually grind out those like n7 or n8 but that's not going to be the case here in this case we're actually going to be able to do whatever the heck we want so yeah that's really really nice however with that being said let's keep moving number two unlock heroes event story so essentially we're going to be getting a whole bunch of this stuff from unlocking these probably it's very similar to what we have in game right now like with that teaser so i think like as we get like more of those pedals we're going to be like ding 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 to be honest like pretty straightforward nothing too much to talk about this and so let's move on to number three which is going to be the limited time dharma smash prize draw event to be honest this really sounds like the pre-con event and so let me actually bring up pre-con so you guys can see what that kind of looks like so guys welcome to pre-con but essentially what i'm anticipating is that we're going to be able to get a whole bunch of medals these victory medals aka those petals and using those petals we are actually going to be drawing on a bunch of boxes so if i click this one i suspect it's going to look very very much like this so there's going to be a whole bunch of rewards however there is going to be a big main reward at the very top 
top. And so the big reward, AKA the grand prize or whatever, could be like the Lou Mamba, like 700 Lou Mamba or like 900 Lou Mamba, or it could be like the limited edition furniture. It could be the legendary Aurorian breakthrough material. However, essentially like once you are able to actually hit that, you might actually have a whole bunch of stuff still left over in the box. However, like if you are able to hit it first, you can actually reset the box without like getting all the other trash items. And so for example, if there are 431 items and say like this grand prize was like 700 Lou Mamba, I use like 100 petals to draw 100 times. I get like the Lou Mamba and then it's like, well, do you want to reset? You still have like 330 rolls technically. But seeing as you've hit the grand prize, you could just go on to the next lineup. I'm relatively sure that's how it's going to work. However, we do need to do a little bit of math to see like, you know, if we like hit that grand prize, should we reset ASAP? Stuff like that. Like we can't really do the efficiency calculations without knowing like what the rewards are. In some cases, if all of the rewards are really good, then you want to clear the entire box before moving on. However, generally speaking, there's probably going to be a lot of trash in it. And so like sometimes you might want to hit the grand prize as well as some other stuff and then move on. All right, let me get out of precon. And it's pretty funny that I was able to like demonstrate this using that. And so, yeah, this is where I was reading like the potential grand prize, like Lumamba 700, Lumamba 800. However, something that they could do is like split the top prize into like 500 Lumamba and then hide the rest of the 200 into the rest of the 100 like draws. And the reason that I know that there are 100 draws because you see over here up to 500 Dharma smash lucky chance draws and then like there are five prize pools and then in each of the prize pools there are a hundred lucky draw chances so yeah that's pretty much it hopefully that gives you guys a pretty good understanding of like what this is gonna be and if i do get it wrong please drop a clown emoji in my next alchemy stars video all right moving on we've got the limited time log in event so essentially we log in for eight days and we get a whole bunch of stuff virtually identical to like the last event um not too much to say about this i think it's fine no criticism log in easy peasy that's really it and so number five this is going to be called cloud mountain sakura a single six star and a single five star event not bad not bad at all. The rules for this is pretty much the same as like the Carlin and Uriel banners. So you're going to have like a 50% chance of getting hero if you hit a six star. However, on the other hand, if you hit a five star, you're actually going to only have a 25% chance of getting Taki. Mm, that's really interesting. That's actually rather low. However, as usual, guys, remember that within the first 10 rolls, you will get a guaranteed five star. And I always would recommend pulling for that at least. Even though I probably can't go for hero just because my savings are like ultra low, I'm probably only on like 20 pulls. I'll still put in that 10, especially because I'm fishing really for like Beverly. But yeah, that's that. Not too much to say about this. If you guys have not seen my hero evaluation video, go check it out now. And as for Taki, we'll just have to wait. All right, number six, we've got new mainstay recruitment Aurorians Eve and Sinsa. Very straightforward. Essentially, every single pool is going to have Eve and Sinsa added to them. Done. Number seven, obtain exclusive event furniture. Oh, baby. So it looks like we're going to be getting five of these exclusive themed furniture items. And so let's have a look at them. Cloud Blossom Insignia is an event avatar. So that's probably this one over here. Then we've got the Dragon Ukiyo Air Painting. And that's probably this one over here. Sakai Dojo Blade Rack. Holy crap, this is really testing my like pronunciation. But this guy is probably this one over here. Cloud Blossom, which I would assume is this one over here. And then lastly, we've got Dharma. However, I don't see any Dharmas here. Maybe it's this thing up here. But honestly, I doubt it. And there's not really any indication of like Dharmas anywhere. And I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't look like Dharma to me. But with that being said, let's just move on to number eight. So yeah, number eight, 10 new Spire challenge floors. Holy moly, I haven't even gotten to level 80 on any element yet. But that's really exciting for you guys who have actually managed to get there. And so like kudos to you. And hopefully it's not going to be like ultra gimmicky like freaking 43. But yeah, exciting time. So I would say maybe like every one month and a half, they're going to add a new like 10 levels. However, that is just an estimation. And this is the first time that they are adding levels. So like take that with a grain of salt. All right. And then lastly, number nine, we've got additional bonus content preview. Oh, baby. So first of all, we are getting getting 1k Lou member. Oh my lord, we are just getting showered in this game. They just can't stop showering us. Like seriously, pass me the shampoo, man. I'll freaking take it. So after that, what we have is 120 free prism from the 29th of July to the 31st of July. So we're getting 360 prism over three days. Maybe there is probably like one of those missions that are locked behind like prism. It could be like, oh, over this event period, spend like 3000 prism. And someone at Tour Dog was probably like, oh, wait a second. The free to play players can't actually do this. And so they 
sent us some of this like pity prism. Just a little conspiracy theory of mine. Like don't pay too much mind to it. But yeah, I think with that being said, that's actually it. Wow. And to be honest, there is so much going on. And the fact that this actually came so fast, as well as having the time and money to also put out PVs for every single event. Like to be honest, like Alchemy Stars, you guys are doing so freaking well. At this point, Tour Dog is like a top tier developer for me. And even if you're watching this video and you don't even play the game, I think you guys can appreciate, well, not only the generosity, but like these guys that are actually putting together and like working really hard on all of this stuff. But yeah, aside from that, I think that's all for this video. And so let's start wrapping this bad boy up. All right, gang, I've got a secret message for you guys and that's dragons. Because I don't know if you guys have seen like the teaser art for Hero or for Taki, but it's like really dragon themed. And so if you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it. It lets me know that you've actually watched the video up until the end. And so thank you so much for that. Otherwise, please consider a sub, a like, a follow, a pin. You guys already know what it is. But as Taki once said to me, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.